this is the experiment for the Spirit 1.0 for our 67 Glastron and using a different battery bank. The battery that came or that I purchased with the Spirit 1.0 Plus has been working okay. It's compact and it's light. I think it weighs about 19 pounds. Using the battery on full, which is really not what it was necessarily designed to do, gives about an hour of run time. And what I want to do is see if we can extend that runtime and maybe pick up a little bit more speed. This is the dedicated cable from ePropulsion. So we can just connect this straight to the motor inputs and run this straight to our larger battery. I did take this apart about a week ago because I wanted to see several things. I wanted to see the wiring for this because I was contemplating building my own harness and I also wanted to put a meter on a few parts inside of here. The battery cells, the battery bank part that's in here was kicking out about 50 volts. You can't put a meter on here and check it because there's some sort of activator lock or some sort of gate that's not letting you do that. So just sticking a needle in here, some meter prongs is not going to tell you anything. What I did figure out by opening this up, and I'll include some photos of the inside shots, is these two are the negative side, these two are the positive side. So for our cable here, it appears to me that's all that this is doing. These extra pins here to use a separate battery bank, I can't figure out how those are being engaged if they are. And you can feel in here, there are two cables in the positive and the negative, which would match up with the two positives and negatives here. For this battery here, we're on the bottom line on the grid here, so it's a 50 amp hour, 51.2 volts, although when I put a meter on this we were at 53 volts. And this does say operating voltage 40 to 58, 25 amp draw, and I guess 300 amps for 10 seconds. That's my read on that. This weighs about 52 pounds, 53 pounds, this weighs about 19 pounds. And if we look at the specs on the bottom of this battery, per the sticker, it's kind of dark to see right here, but this is saying rated voltage 45.6, 28 amp hours. This is 50 amp hours, so we're a little less than twice as far as the amp hour runtime, and the voltage on this is just a little bit more. The other differences might be if this is a little more consistent in its amperage draw or supply, and if this one's a little bit a little bit less consistent, we could squeeze a little bit more power out of that. But again, this is more so for range compared to this little guy here. And the other nice thing about this setup is we've got a backup as well. So we can run this, and if we were to run that dry, we could run this too, or run this afterward. This is the modified Spirit 1.0. This is not the Evo, which is why I had to do kind of this crazy wiring stuff. And this goes around to the tiller unit that we've got on the floor right now temporarily and next to that modified Chrysler throttle, which is pretty cool to use for steering at the moment. And none of this is stainless steel, so this is just in the prototype testing stage here. Some all thread, some nuts, and some scrapped aluminum uh, L iron or L bracket right there. For my steering, I have a cable that comes out of that cap and then one on this side. We just hook those through. For the battery testing today, this is what we're going to screw into our battery cable here. And then we're going to see how this all works. Cable is just screwed in. Super simple, super easy. Goes around here. We've got our on off switch. And this should be mounted somewhere and it will be at some point. And we just run these to our leads on our bigger battery. 
We have our battery connected here, our switch switch to on. We've got juice going to our unit right there. And I gave the throttle a little bit of a push and it gave a good push. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm curious to uh, untie the lines here and motor around for a minute and check this out. We had a bunch of storms come through last night and today is a very interesting day. The winds are up and down. We've got gusts up to about 15 or 20 miles an hour. Right now we're in a little bit of a lull, so there's definitely some breezing going on. And just as a heads up, even with 48 volts, if your hands are kind of sweaty and you're connecting things and you accidentally touch these two, you'll feel it. You'll feel a little bit of that zap, so don't do that. But I am curious to get this away from the dock and see what we have. That is calculating the bigger battery bank really, really well. So 800 watts, three and a half hours. Let's get this up a little bit more. Let's go up to full out. So 1,000 watts. Now with the old battery, that would show about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So here we're showing two hours and 46 minutes. Might be a slight increase in speed or power, maybe a little bit. From the limited information that I've been able to find on this motor, it should take 39 to 60 volts. So it should be able to handle a little bit more. I am impressed with this battery and how little this sips. So we've been out here for about 50 minutes and I've been going mostly full on, not totally full on, but mostly. And it's still saying two hours and 38 minutes. That's pretty impressive. The only way to really test that would be to put it on a meter on the charge on the charger. But it is clicking down. We've got our 10% markers around that circle, and we're down 20%. So two of those markers, which seems about right. Um, you could really go all day with this, I, I think. So working pretty well. After about an hour of runtime, hour and 10 minutes of runtime, we've only used 20%, maybe a little less than 20%, according to the readout on the tiller. So this would definitely, this will definitely expand range. As far as the battery goes, I mean, this is warm because it's black and it's in the sun, but the cable is perfectly cool to the touch, not even the slightest bit warm. Very, very cool. Working well, working fine. Maybe a hair faster. I didn't put the speedometer app on 
It felt pretty close in speed to the other, but maybe just a little bit more. So this is primarily for extended range, a little more security. Very cool. Thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.